Hello everybody and welcome to Millionaire Mindset where you come to learn and get inspired. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified when we publish new videos. And be sure to watch the entire video to avoid missing any important details. Send us your questions and suggestions in the comment sections because we'd love to hear from you. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. If I had a chance to talk to my 20-year-old self, I'd tell myself this. Learn to trust your own judgment. If you learn to trust your own judgment and develop faith in your ability to solve your own problems, you will feel at home wherever you are in the world. I don't think there's a greater prize in life than faith in your own capacities to survive and succeed. It's invaluable, and the younger me would probably ask me how. How do I learn to trust myself? The motto of the royal family is nullius in verba, meaning, take no one's word for it. I'd tell myself, don't take anybody's word for it, not even your own. You should verify all things for yourself and let your experiences be guide to forming beliefs. Trying as you may, once you have enough experience under your belt, you will not be able to disprove yourself at every turn. As you seek out alternatives, you will eventually stumble upon a belief that strength of mind will not allow you to let go off. You will trust yourself completely and utterly because you cannot disprove the existence of your own mind. I would tell myself to question assumptions, propose solutions, and falsify the solution. I would tell myself to destroy all my precious beliefs because I can replace them if those beliefs fail. Only beliefs that can withstand scrutiny carry the potential of being useful diamonds. Here's an example. Jason is having a hard time focusing. He then started his problem in a question, why can't he focus? And he answers, I have a medical condition. So he visits the doctor and the doctor tells him everything is fine and the disease doesn't exist. So the answer is proven wrong and Jason works to try to find another answer. His next theory is, I can't focus because of external distractions. So he tries to eliminate noise from outside, remove distracting items and go to the library if necessary. At first, this works, but eventually, Jason finds that his problems aren't just external distractions, but also internal distractions, thoughts in his own mind that stops him from focusing. So Jason comes up with another answer. It's not just external distractions, but also internal ones that stop me from concentrating. So he sorts out those internal distractions and finally, he achieves the level of focus he wants. Jason's working theory at the moment is that focus occurs when external and internal distractions are illuminated. Although he has been unable to disprove this idea, he has developed a process for eliminating distractions from his life. He does this by first coming up with an explanation for something, then trying to disprove it. Through this process, Jason has discovered a lot of helpful information about the world and himself. And he continues this process in other areas of his life as well. For instance, Jason decides to figure out what food is best for him, what workouts are good, and what he should study in university and so on. Slowly, Jason is learning to trust his own abilities to navigate through the world. This time-consuming process of re-examining my question may seem tedious, but I think it's necessary because it's really the only way you'll be able to discover your own path. And this is what I'd tell my younger self. You want directions. You want the exact turns. Left, right, left, left. That is going to get you where you want to go. You want the tactic or the book recommendation or the app or the step-by-step -step system that's going to get you where you want to go. Hints and directions are useful only if you know the precise starting point or end point of your journey. Most often, you will not receive such detailed information in life. Instead, you may start looking for a roadmap so you can navigate from your starting point to your ultimate destination. The problem is that even good maps eventually become obsolete. If you wait long enough, even the most solid landmarks can shift or disappear entirely. In the end, 
what you were looking for was a compass, a tool that always points to true north. Because the compass does not change with time, and this source of direction is inside all of us. We only need to learn to read this true north by calibrating our compasses against our experiences in life. The sooner you begin that process, the better. Once you do, you will never really need any other advice in life. But don't take my word for it. Verify it for yourself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel.